1996, Jason Arkles first came visiting Florence, but it was a trip to a sculpture studio which changed his plans to return home five days later, and now runs two of his own studios in Santo Spirito, the artistic center of Florence. One of the things I love about sculpture is that you, uh, there's always something to learn and there's so many mediums in which you have to master. You know, first you start with clay, then you have to learn how to work plaster, uh, wax, bronze, marble, uh, terracotta, ceramics. Um, you know, if you're going to get into anything like fountains, you need to uh, learn about plumbing or wiring if you're going to have, you know, light on a public monument or um, and just so many different things. Architectural as, as well, architectural settings, uh, if you're going to do architectural sculpture or build plinths and pedestals, there's just so much to learn. When starting on a sculpture, he does the work first in clay, making all of his mistakes at this stage. But when it's ready, he makes a plaster cast of the clay model and then copies it onto the marble using tools which were used by the ancient Greeks and Romans. If you want to find a particular point off the surface of the cast, like the tip of the nose, all you have to do is adjust the needle so that it touches the tip of the nose. Uh, you move this little depth gauge down and you, oops, you lock everything down like that. You pick it up off your plaster cast, you move it to your marble, and now this needle is pointing exactly where you need to carve. You, uh, you push the needle in until it hits the surface of the stone, and once it, once it hits, you know exactly the direction in which you need to carve, and this sh will show you how deep you need to go. Jason lives here now, in a city famous for so many sculptures, and he says being surrounded by so many works of art is an inspiration for him. I'm a better sculptor influence. It's, it's not really a pressure, it's more of an encouragement. Um, when I was a student and I was working on hands or, or how to do hair or drapery, I could walk down the street and literally see the best examples of hair or drapery or hands or whatever I needed to work on that had ever been sculpted. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a constant source of inspiration, and it still is, um, learning about sculptors um, uh, all the time. Jason was born in Washington and despite living here most of his commissions come from America. Most recently he was asked to work on some pieces as part of a 30 million dollar building, a church in Southern California. He's just completed a wooden Mary and Joseph II which was shipped off some weeks ago. But it's here in Florence you can find one of his works that he's most proud of, a life-size statue of St. Mark which fills an empty niche over St. Mark's English church. And in Santo Spirito, he's a real part of the artisan community. There's a goldsmith around the corner, there's a violin maker uh, around the block, there, there's at least one other sculptor within a few hundred feet of, uh, of my studio. You know, I got amazing woodcarvers next door who I actually collaborated with for the making of the Joseph and Mary. And so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's great.